Hello, viewers. <coughs> Sorry, my voice just gave out there. Anyway, Mike, Gun Mike Money Gamer here, and I'm back with more of the Gaia 2 Dual Saga. And last time, uh, I said I was going to get you to those treasure chests. Actually, I brought you out here to the courtyard because, well, the truth is you can't reach that treasure chest I thought you could. So instead, we're going to come out here to the courtyard. I've got your back. I am freaking tired of you idiots. Wrong one. Again, Mike nearly got his ass kicked, so... I have to heal him up again. Guys, out one blow. You know, this is kind of overkill. There we go. Let's keep moving. I was just about to grab a treasure chest, and these assholes had to get in my way. So, of course, I'm going to kill them real fast. Now, I remember there was this treasure chest here before, and I said, "You can't get it." at uh, the time when the go uh, soldiers are here, so I waited till now to get it, and that's how you get it. Uh, there's nothing else here, so let's quickly try to get to the other side. <sighs> Once you get into the main area, there's no more enemies. Now. Doubly reserves drop, uh, throw health potions at their, themselves and their friends. So you want to take them out as quickly as possible. Oh, and I uh, learned Fist of Glory for uh, Fextress. Here, I'll show it off, even though it's kind of overkill. Like, especially on these soldiers, it's definitely overkill. Finish so soon? And no, it does not become a better move, so you shouldn't even really be using it right now because uh, you're gonna. The next move you learn isn't until you've like picked up a scroll for it. So, yeah. You know, since that guy is stunned, let's go ahead and use uh, Roaring Fang and uh, have him just beat the hell out of this guy with his fist. I can understand getting uh, tired of using these moves over and over again, especially the ones that you have to use over and over again to level up. I get better as I get old. Um, I just recommend if you want to level them up, just use them until they're ready to level up, then stop using them. That's kind of what you need to do. The only time you're really going to need them is in like boss fights and stuff. Anyway, now that you're in the castle here, there's a certain room we want to go into. So there's going to be something on a table that we need to pick up. It's not 100% necessary to pick it up, but it would be nice if you do. I still think this game will... Oh, no, that will open. Don't go that way yet, though. Trust me, you just don't want to yet. Is it this room? No, not this room. Is that even later that happens? I don't remember. Maybe it's later that it happens, because I remember there's like a room that you have to go to at some point. And when you do, you find something inside that's really important. Oh yeah. You can actually open the drawbridge. Believe it or not. When you want to do this. Cause now that you're now that your uh, money pouch is filled to the brim, 
cut, more or less. You can come out here through the drawbridge. And when you talk to the soldiers, they're like, Hey, who are you strolling out of the castle like that? Last I heard, the castle was closed. Isn't it closed anymore? No, let you pass. Open the gate, close the gate. Man, I wish they'd make up their minds. No one's in the castle now. The knights are patrolling dignitaries. Which one are you? Doesn't matter. Yeah, now you can get in and out of the castle without having to go all the way through the Cabell ruins again. I think if you come back over here, there might be something new here. Let's see. I might have missed out on one of the items. Okay. Um, a sword that the uh, game god I was reading recommended is right here, the Fire Edge. But, um, there are some enemies in the game that are resistant to fire, that's why I'm afraid to get it. But you can always get the uh, Lizard Chest Guard to uh, fire guard yourself. And that's also a good thing. I'm going to go ahead and get that since I haven't got it yet. Yeah, the elegant sleeves. Uh, I don't know about that. And that's it. Okay, so, um, no other swords I need. But. <laughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Oh. <laughs> did I even. Did I really just do that? I did, I forgot to purchase this, I think. Let's go ahead and purchase it, just in case. Any weapons I can make with weapons I have now? Hell, I can just make a fire edge. Or a venom blade or an ice sword. I've actually made the ice sword at this point in the game. The enemies that are going to be resistant to it are the uh, slime enemies, I believe, and um, I think those like weird-ass creatures in the sewers. I forget if adding venom to it uh, makes a null and void if an enemy is strong against venom. You always make a fire edge for free. Yeah, let's do that. And I can get a lizard chest guard for free too. Huh. What do you know? Gloves. Put your charisma up. Nah, we'll wait on that. <laughs> wow, that's sad. AP boosts and puts up a damage against plants. Probably would have been useful earlier in the game, but too late now. Uh, we could get a thunder robe. Protects you against thunder. And puts our defense up by five. Let's go ahead and do that. Can't do anything for Fex just now. Okay. Now that's the only reason why you probably don't want to sell your old equipment right away because you might actually make something that you haven't uh, gotten uh, before that could be more useful. Like for example, like if I would have bought the Fire Edge, I would have sold the other weapon and missed out on that other options that I could have upgraded it to later. But for now it's good to have the Fire Edge because many enemies, especially the uh, soldiers, are going to be weak to fire. Well, not really weak, but uh, at least more um, damaging to it than just normal sword attacks. And, um, 
the thunder robe as opposed to the other thing will definitely help her out with uh, thunder guard even though we're not going to be fighting many enemies that are thunder based right now but yeah this game's kind of like Skyrim where it comes to like its elements where many enemies that you come up against in the game will be um, weak if not uh, normal to fire based attacks so that's a good thing but anyway if we have any other stuff to sell we might as well uh, take a look I just can't get bring myself to sell the hammer blade don't know why I just can't I think if you want you can actually go back to um, oh yeah there's something we can do now that we've um, got Maya talking again. We can actually head back to town. And I think we get some new dialogue now that she's able to talk. <coughs> we can also learn how everybody's doing too. even gone down further than the last time we were here. I don't know if she's still over there. I think she's up helping uh, your uh, sister now. Not your sister, but you know. I don't know if she's up there. I don't think you can talk to her when she's up there. what you're up to out there. I wish you'd quit making me worry about you. <laughs> yeah, if you walk up here like normal, you won't be, I don't think you're actually able to even talk to her because you're going to end up looking around. Yeah. You can actually look over to where she is. Oh, you can't talk to her. So this is where you grew up, Mike. It's so warm. I like my home. I envy you. <laughs> yeah, that's all she says. Yeah, if you look around, it's the same as usual. There you can actually see, like I said, where the aqua used to be and how low the water's gone. Huh. But yeah, I find it funny that move her up there instead of leaving her with the uh, sheep so that after you sat on it, you know, she could talk to you. They don't let that happen. You're back, Mike. <sighs> Can you believe the hawk even rationed the sheep's drinking water? This is too much. Yeah, you're right. So let me just ride on this back. <laughs> How are you doing, jackass? That's about it, really. You can just talk to her now that she's uh, talking. You can kind of hear what she has to say about your town, which is kind of cool. I feel like a sign as you read. No, okay. I think if you come in here, though, there might be something new. I'm scared. <laughs> what are you scared about? We've already killed everything nearby. <laughs> I'm gonna dry up that soon. Yeah, he doesn't have anything that much, you know, that new, but he still has some more interesting stuff than he had before, which is kind of cool. That's your only hope. Ha <laughs> ha, don't mind me. I love that. Anyway, enough wasted time. Let's get back to the, um, um, Derek and Sedell. Sent to Dell or whatever. And don't worry, the uh, place hasn't closed back up now that you've uh, left town. It doesn't do that. I tested the theory myself whenever I did the uh, personal playthrough that I did. Um, now that I mention it, yeah, we want to stay 
at the end. <coughs> What's this information guys anything for us? Did you go in the sewers? I heard there's all sorts of crazy monsters down there. Oh, that's right. That's how you're supposed to find out. You're supposed to ask him. I don't have a job, damn it. It's all Toplin's fault. <laughs> you can also uh, eat a meal if you want, but I've already learned all the ones that we need to learn here. Um, speaking of that... Uh... Where's, like, the cooking, uh, stuff? Ah, here it is. Don't mind me, I'm just checking my... Uh... No, no, is it under... What is it under? Uh, skills, maybe. Chris AP of other supporting characters. Oh, we don't have it yet, but we will eventually. There we go. Uh, if we had beef and bread, we could make beef sandwiches. Spicy hot salad, we can make that, but it would make our defense go down. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> what do we need for cabbage rolls? Pork, vegetables, and herbs. For a Caesar salad, we need vegetables, cheese, and a cooking oil. Bacon and eggs, that'd be nice. Cream, okay. Uh, oh, that was my uh, toe, did you hear that? That was amazing. I doubt you did, but <laughs> anyway. So which one's the best? Dang, that makes your attack skyrocket though. Alright, did I have enough for it? I don't remember if I did. Oh, I do. So let's go out of town and cook real quick, just to see what happens when you cook that. So, you know, once you go outside, you can, uh, go to camp. Chat. Maya. Oh, don't worry about me, Vextress. You know, I've been really torn. I avoided using this power this magic, but I was worried that meant suppressing and hiding a part of me. I was worried I'd have to live my whole life that way. That's what I've been torn about. But then, you said something that helped, Mike. Power itself is not bad. It all depends on the person who uses it. So I decided that if I could help you with this power, I wouldn't be afraid anymore. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> now, don't be thanking me. We're the ones that got saved by your power. Right, Master? Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. But, you know... What? I don't think you could really call that last battle controlled magic. It was more like magic power gone wild. I can do better! I just know it! I know I can learn to use this power properly. <laughs> that a girl, Maya. <laughs> anyway... There's that. It must be in that castle. The Aqualus. Gotta be somewhere in Doblin Castle. Master. Calm down now. If we don't think this through, we'll wind up getting caught, and it'll all come to nothing. The best thing to do here is to sneak into the castle without anybody knowing we're there. Anything else? Uh, that's it. Okay. Here, this is my speciality. Go ahead, eat up. Whoa! Why is this so spicy? Fextress, it's a bit too spicy. Sometimes she'll say something like, This isn't healthy. And stuff like that. It's just kind of funny. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, save the game here. And as promised, this is going to be the last episode I record of this because I'm only supposed to record four of each game. And two of the new one that I did. 
So I'm going to stop this for today and call today's session complete. And hmm, let's see. Um, I won't be able to record until possibly Friday, I want to say. I shouldn't say that because I know that it's going to take forever for this video to get up anyway. But the truth is, I'm saying that now just to kind of remind myself when it was that I was supposed to record it. So if I don't record that day, I can pinch myself for being a jerk and not recording for you guys. <laughs> nah, just kidding. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed these videos and the ones that I will be introducing to you later. Um, you know, my blind one that I did. I hope you enjoy all those videos. And um, whatever future videos I have next. Till then, everyone. Bye.